Hey, I'm Ben with Lifetime Commercial Roofing. We're out here to do a, a job for Terminex to put some pest exclusion stuff on this man's roof. Uh, but we're gonna go over basic safety equipment for roofers, because roofing is pretty dangerous and you know, with the right safety equipment, you really don't have much to worry about. We're gonna go over harnesses, we're gonna go over you know, using a rope, uh, the pitch hopper, ladder, and kind of the right order to, t to do this stuff in because you know, we need to go up and, and measure the pitch of the roof to know how we're gonna set up our equipment or whether we need it at all. There's a lot to think about before you even get off the ladder. So first thing we're going to look at here is Cougar Paw boots. Now these have straps that interface with the sole, not the actual upper of the boot. That keeps the bottom of it, which is what grips the roof, attached to your feet. So this strap is actually more important than the laces. Down here on the bottom it has removable foam soles because these do get tore up. You can see mine are already starting to wear a little bit. Uh, it's important that you check the soles before you use them every time because if you get up there and these aren't going to work, uh, you could slip. And you don't want to do that while you're on the roof. All right, having a good pair of gloves is important, whether they be, you know, mechanic style gloves or, or leather gloves. I find leather lasts a little longer for me. Anytime you're using a harness or you're working on a rope or something, you want gloves because you do not want rope burn because rope burn hurts. Uh, also, roofs are hot. So, you know, if it's in the direct sun, sometimes that roof surface can be 150 plus degrees. So if you're climbing up a roof and you need to put your hand down to stabilize yourself or to work, you really want these. They are very important. This is a ladder hook. Uh, there's a couple different styles of them. You can get them uh, from you know, specialty places or even Amazon, it's where I got these ones. But you put this underneath on the top end of your ladder. I usually use an extension ladder and then take the two halves apart so that it lays flat. And then this part goes over the rung and this is adjustable up and down so that you can get a good fit on it. This goes between two rungs of the ladder and then you put the wing nut on it washer and wing nut. And then this caster, I have two. Uh, some people just use one, nothing wrong with that. But you know, I like the stability of having two of them, one on each side of the ladder. But you flip the ladder over and then the roller actually allows you to roll it up the roof without damaging it. And then once the hook clears the peak of the roof, then you flip it over and it hooks over the ridge and then this padding also keeps it from damaging the roof. It's a really good design and if you're climbing something really steep and you can't get up it with just cougar paws, this allows you to lay a ladder on the roof without having to put any holes in your customer's roof. So this is the Ridge Pro. Uh, these are not a cheap piece of equipment, but if you deal with steep roofs all the time, this is definitely a must have. There is a place here at the bottom where you can attach it to a push pole. I have one right behind me. That's this big extendable pole. It's about 16 feet long. When we get to the demonstration portion, you'll see why that's necessary. But this has a pad here and a pad here, and it is adjustable. You see the numbers here. When we take this ring loose, See, I've got 12, and then this is 11, 10, 9, 8. So we're gonna go up and measure what our roof pitch is, and then we're gonna set this accordingly so that it gets a good firm hold on that roof surface up on the ridge. But before we send it up, we actually hook the rope to it and the pole, and then it just all goes up at once together and hooks over. And just like the ladder hooks, it's got rollers so it doesn't damage your roof. Because you don't want anything just metal scraping its way up the roof. You want it to roll up nicely and not 
not nick the tabs of your shingles. So this is a pitch hopper. Now, this is a foam backed, really high density foam, uh, like styrofoam kind of uh, block that has two different angles. And this angle here is for a 1212. It will be completely flat on a 1212, which is a really steep roof. And then this side is 912. So when this goes on, the foam keeps it from slipping. And because of the geometry of it, when you stand on this, it puts weight on this foam pad evenly and kind of locks down onto the roof. Uh, you don't want to use these guys because they're not mechanically attached. You really don't want to use this without having fall protection on. It's really good and comfortable to work on, but don't trust your life to it because it's not mechanically attached. But the foam back on this operates the same way as a lot of people use just a high density foam cushion. These cushions allow us to climb up and work comfortably. Like uh, if you want to use it as a kneeling pad, it also bites into the shingles and keeps you from sliding down. So this is the harness that comes in the uh, the safety bucket systems that you can get at Home Depot or pretty much anywhere. Uh, these come with a D-ring that you can mount to the roof. That's uh, usually you have to screw or bolt those down. Nothing wrong with them. They're really secure. They're just, you know, you're going to put holes in somebody's roof. You know, there are other ways to do it, but I've got the rope here. And then this is that harness that comes with it. Now the green part is what goes up over your shoulders. And then the black straps down here go under your legs and then meet up with the belt in the front. Now this one only has one ring on the back, which it will save your life, but sometimes it can be a little bit awkward to work with and a little bit awkward to hook yourself into. Now, I opted to get an upgraded harness. It's got more padding on it. This is a lot more like what a rock climber or somebody would use, but this one's geared more for construction with heavy waist straps for you know adding tools onto if I really wanted to. And it has that same ring on the back, shoulder padding. The front clasp is like a buckle and it just clicks together and then pinch and squeeze and comes apart. And it also has on the belt portions, instead of having little metal uh, pieces that just go into each other, it's more like a belt. It's got holes in the belt buckle here. But on each side of the belt, at about my uh, 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock position, it's got front rings, which keeps the rope in my workspace in front of me and really, you know, helps keep me from tripping over it or helps keep it where I can work with it. Which is, it's just much more comfortable, especially if you're going to be in it all day long. I would definitely recommend finding a good harness. So that's the ladder up. And before we do anything else, we're going to measure the pitch of the roof. You can use a manual pitch meter and a lot of carriers like for insurance and stuff like that will require a manual pitch meter. But just for our purposes today, we're going to use just a, an app from my phone. So I turn on the app and I lay it up here and it's telling me this is 9, 9.1. So yeah, this is definitely one where we would want the safety equipment because OSHA recommends safety equipment, you know, fall protection, anything over 712. But because we know it's a nine, that allows us to set up our Ridge Pro. So the six is the first one and it's right under the line. So we know that's seven, eight, so nine would be number 10 covered right there. That's gonna match this device to the right angle to properly and securely hook over that ridge. At this point, we can attach the extendable pole.
Anyway, so that's on there, and this push button allows us to extend, and every time it finds a hole, it stops. But I'm gonna leave it closed up for right now because we're not going up just yet. So, the, the bucket that I use to store my rope, I leave the hook that I put on the Ridge Pro last, and the hook that goes on my harness, I put in the bottom first. And the reason I do that is so that I can feed it right out of the bucket when I get to a site. So I'm gonna hook that right onto the back of the Ridge Pro. And I'm gonna set this guy right on the gutter. And then and I like to check and make sure that the other end, where I have the knots in the rope, that my sliding climbing piece is actually all the way at the bottom because I don't want this, while I'm pushing the Ridge Pro up the roof, I don't want this to jump out of the bucket and swing around because you know it's got metal hooks on it. it, could hit somebody's window or something. So keep that in mind, keep this all the way at the bottom and then you can pull it up to the top of the ladder. You know, once you have your hands free to do that with just this and pay attention to it. But since you're not paying attention to it at this point, I would just leave it in the bottom of the bucket at the far end of the rope just in case, so nothing happens. So, now from here, we'll take the Ridge Pro, and turn it over, and put the casters on the roof. And right here is where I'll be able to adjust my pull. So I'll go up a little bit, adjust my pull down, up a little more. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but I'd rather have too much than too little, because then I have to bring it all the way back down again. That looks like it should be plenty. You can always take another step up the ladder as well. So we're gonna go up until it's just about there, right up to the edge of the peak, and I'm gonna give it a little twist, gently. You don't wanna smack that into the roof. And it flips over, and you just kinda let that it. You don't want to pull on that. If you want to set it, you want to give it a little pull on the rope. And then the next thing, to enable us to get off the ladder, I'm going to use this because this gives me a nice surface to safely step onto. Now, like we said before, this one's for 12-12 and this one's for 9-12. I'm going to set it about one tab from the bottom. You don't want it to be right up against the gutter. You want it to be fully on the roof. So I wouldn't go any lower than this, but that'll allow me to step off the ladder onto a flat surface before I start climbing up. So shoulder straps over, hook your front, and then your waistband. You don't want it super, super tight because you're gonna be working in it, but you want it to be touching you. You know, you don't want to cut off any circulation or anything. And then your leg straps, same thing. You want to be able to move around freely, but you want them to be on you. You don't want them to be loose and floppy. If it's loose and floppy and you do fall, that's gonna create a point where there's slack and that slack gets taken up by the fall and you get whiplash. So don't do that. So legs, midriff, and then the top. And you can see my shoulders are a little loose. So I'll grab these here and here, cinch my shoulders down a little bit. And that's what we want right there. Nice and, you know, not tight, but touching me. And we'll go ahead and go up. So, on these lanyards that have the, the slider portion, this right here you'll see is a, a piece of strap that is just kind of doubled over and then laminated with a piece of rubber or a clear plastic, whatever this is. This extends to six feet and it, it works as a shock absorber if you do fall. Like if you fell clear off of something, this would break apart and become six feet long. And then this part here, the buckle that slides, it has a little up arrow on it that allows me, which direct, allows me to know which direction because if it's the wrong way and you fall, it will slide down. 
it does not work. It is a one-way thing. That's part of what this mechanism does here. So you squeeze that whole buckle and we can pull some of our excess. We're gonna leave this rope on the ground for now. And I'm just gonna kind of climb up the ladder guiding my buckle and lanyard along. So I'm going to be on that side of the Ridge Pro. So I'm going to take my buckle and I'm going to put it on this side of my body just to kind of keep it organized and keep it a little bit further away. Like I said, I like mine up front because that keeps it in my workspace where I can get my hands on it. And it's also really hard to clip yourself off on the back. So, so this safety equipment is super, super important. And I also don't have somebody else to help me hook up. So I've got a little bit of slack here because I don't want it to interfere with me. Now, when you put weight on this, you want to step in the middle part, not on the outside edges. You don't want this thing to turn. You want to be putting weight over the whole face of it, like that. And you can see it moves a little bit because of the cushion on the bottom. You don't want to have your foot partially on the roof. You want your feet to be flat planted on the hitch hopper. So give that a squeeze and take some of that slack out. Check one more time just to make sure you got a good bite on the top, on the ridge. And then I can start climbing up a step or two. Slide up my lanyard, another step or two, slide up the lanyard, another step. So once you get close to the Ridge Pro, it is important you keep this hand on the rope low. Because if you start pulling up on this thing and you pop this off the top of the ridge, it and you both go tumbling down with nothing to stop you. So when you get up here to the top, if that's where you're going, keep that hand low on it or don't even worry about, it, you know? Like if you have to, if you're on like an 11 or 12 and you need that to pull on, I would probably say, get a hold of that ring down low and pull down because the ring won't come up much. Just keep pressure on this thing down against the roof. Well, I'm Ben with Lifetime Commercial Roofing. I hope this video helps you guys out, helps you to be safe, work more comfortably, you know, more efficiently and more safely because like we said earlier roofing is dangerous guys be careful out there like subscribe comment below uh, we'll see you guys on the next one